Hello everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones the Lunatic Mode. Nice and easy early game map for you all today, hopefully you'll go over better than the last one. Mecha here, and joined of course by Raisins. How's it going man? Doing pretty well. What do you mean better than last one? Last one was like, went off without a hitch. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, we got through, but we, we fed two kills to Gilliam and Erica got a terrible first level up. And a good second level up to be fair, and then Franz got like, a bad level up too I think? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I guess these levels are pretty bad, but man, if that's like worthy of lamenting right in front of your YouTube audience, I wonder how like comfortable your life must be on a day to day basis. I'm right? a perfectionist you know? about FE8. I've played this game like a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's okay. It's okay. All right, we're, we're literally just fighting brigands today, like all brigands and like one archer if we're lucky. <clears throat> mm -hmm. We have uh, four new units on the map. We're going to talk about three of them today. Uh, I'll grab the third NPC one real quick, turn one with Vanessa, and then once he's recruited and all secure, uh, we'll talk. So I was thinking globally we do the same for these brigands over here that are just coming down the mountain. Uh, we'll try to save mm -hmm. this village, of course, we'll get the pure water. Leave Garcia to his own devices as he's fighting a brigand and an archer over here. Grab Ross, maybe feed him some kills if we can, because I would like the option to promote him. And hopefully try to feed uh, Franz and Erica some more. What do you think? Yeah, no, it seems pretty good. I think the Erica is always a good move, and Franz is like, I mean, he's got one bad level up, but we we can be a little bit more open minded than that, right? Like, mm -hmm. let's not just condemn him to the pits right now, as it were. <laughs> sure. Okay, I'll just grab these two villages, turn one with uh, the Boulder and Erica. And the next turn, I'll use Mold to take Drop with Ross, talk to him with Erica, and then we'll have his turn available if you need it. And uh, meanwhile, that sounds good. We'll get uh, Seth burned with the Gilliam again. Mm, do you wanna? I need that iron stuff so, back from America. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> no, somehow that. need to get that to connect. I mean, like, France is probably not gonna be fighting until we get to that armory anyway, right? So yeah. is it like a huge deal? Yeah, we could probably have him armory like, too, that works. I'm trying to see if Seth is still one of the but I think he won't one of the brigands. I think they're likely, yeah, they're more bulky than the than the other guys. I think he won't oak with the steel swords, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, this guy's got like 26 HP, this should be fine. Yeah, so I, I suppose I should look at the enemies real briefly, so... This guy, when I looked first, had 7 speed, so he would double Gilliam. Now he has 6, so we're fine on that front. Uh, these guys only have like... Oh, now they have more speed. What the heck? Okay, these, they're all 7 speed now. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. That, this is why I'm rescuing Gilliam, guys. This is why I'm rescuing Gilliam. Yeah, this uh, is a good idea. Yeah, when I joined the call, you were like, Ah, it's uh, just this first friggin' he doubles Gilliam. Easy, the other guys are fine. Uh, now Erica like... doubles all of them, though. With their 7. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Okay. She got 11. Good. She got... Three level ups, right? Like one in prologue, and then one from the boss, and then one mid chapter one, I think. Yeah, and, and the prologue one was like awful. It was so bad. It was just skill. This yeah. one's like, yeah. This one's what? This one's much better. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Seth will be in position to fight this one brigands. Franz will be able to go to the armory. Perfect. All right. Let's do the mm -hmm. whole take drop thing. So, grab you. Go over here. Talk with. I recall. Grab yeah, the is Ross. there any? Yeah, is there any advantage here to getting Gilliam or not Gilliam Garcia now, or do you want to keep him like green for a bit? Uh, you know, if we if we get him out of here, we get more HP, I guess. That could be a consideration. Uh, yeah, like I suppose Vanessa's not like super in a hurry to get here because we're gonna distract all these brigands from getting to the village. So let's mm -hmm. let's 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 put a pin on that. Let's talk about that after we're done talking about units because I do like the idea. Uh, but my mind is completely into like, oh, let's talk about units first. Uh, any anyone you want to talk about first? Yeah. Like any preference? Uh, well, we got them in a row from right to left, so how about that? <laughs> from right to left? All right, gotcha. Okay, so... Yeah, as, as the way we read, right? Yeah, that's that's totally the way I read. So we'll start in uh, with Vanessa then, uh, one of my favorites from this game, because I do like Pegasus Knights, and I think this is one of the better ones in the series, at least as far as the ones you have to raise are concerned. Um, as all Pegasus Knights do, she's got good speed, and she flies, and she has good movement. Everything else about her yeah. is like a little shaky, but speed is one of the most important stats, and movement is a great stat. Ignoring terrain is great, so you can utilize all those things without even training Vanessa a whole lot and get a lot of mileage out of her. I do like training her, and I think I will, because I've seen what it can return into. FE8 has a lot of maps where... Having a flying unit that can do combat really do pay off, and Vanessa with her high speed can usually come out on top against the enemy she faces on the way. Um, like, her speed is crazy good. Uh, her base defense is decent enough to where she doesn't get wanted killed. In fact, I remember in vanilla FE8 there's like some archers even survives uh, with minimal investment, if not no investment. So she's not completely 
burdened um, by her weakness to arrows. She also has five con as opposed to someone like Florina's con, uh, Florida's four con, so that helps as well. Um, she's very flexible, and she turns into a wyvern knight after promotion if you want to, which it doesn't give her swords like Falcon Knight does, but it does give her pierce, which is an occasional damage boost, and it adds a lot to her constitution as well to the point where she can use javelins without really worrying about being weighed down a whole lot. It's basically a promotion that gives her like plus four speed when using heavy weapons, if I recall. So that's really solid. So overall, I really like Vanessa, but she is another training project that we'll have to feed. And with Erica and Franz and now Ross and some other people really wanting experience, I don't know how she's going to perform. And, you know, with the enemies growth going crazy, maybe Vanessa's damage output will be too low. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think in, in this run, I mean... If we intend to use her and like really train and invest in her, it's probably going to be at the detriment of someone like Erica or Franz. But then again, we're doing two different routes and the armies are splitting up two different ways. So I'm pretty sure Vanessa is going to be one of the better units in like one of them, right? So probably for this run, I think it's just going to be wherever we don't send Tana, we ought to like feed Vanessa with tons of EXP and, you know, have her just go and completely carry and destroy all the enemies, right? Like, I, I say that as though it was just really easy to get her there, which... In my opinion, in FEA GBA, it kind of is. Like, I think this has to be the most, like, privileged Pegasus Knight in all of GBA, with just how many resources she has access to. Like, not only does she have a ton of maps that are just really easy to grind on, like, she has Chapter 4, right, which is just full of really easy monsters, and including one who just always gives 100 EXP when you kill it, right? And then... You also have like what the chapter seven energy ring, which is really easy to get. All the other Pegasus Knights in the GBA are like the energy rings either come too late or they become so early that it's like, okay, if I use this energy ring on Florina, then I didn't use it on anybody for like five chapters. So what's going on here? But Vanessa just has this like early energy ring that she can use as well. You just steal it from a mage in chapter four. And like you said, the Wyvern Knight promotion, I really think like there are some good reasons to go Pegasus Knight. Most of them are related to keeping her aid higher to rescue better. Like, I think in Wyvern Knight, she has 11 aid, and in Falcon Knight, she yeah. has 14, which is, like, actually a pretty massive difference. Like, there's a lot that she can't do in Wyvern that she can do in Falcon, but, I mean, if you're using her for combat, which I think we're lined up to do... Honestly, if you get Vanessa to level 10, you're probably using her for combat, right? So, yeah. usually the Wyvern Knight is just, like, 90% of the time the best promotion. Yeah, for sure. Uh, okay. Um, there's, there's like always a lot more to say about these units, um, yeah. but I feel a bit uncomfortable like sitting here with uh, Garcia impatiently waiting next to this bring for hours, so I'm going to keep going for uh, now. There's probably going to be a lot of like room for discussion as we play like, a V8 enemy phases, I guess. Uh, right to left, correct, so we're doing Molder next. Um, I mean, he's a healer, so there's not too much to say about him. I will say he's very different from most like the early healer girl that you traditionally get in Fire Emblem, and that he feels a bit bulkier. Um, he is not super bulky, like 20 HP, 2 defense is not a whole lot, but he feels sturdy. He has a lot more constitution, especially. He's like slightly hard to carry even for some people. He can even do some rescue drops early on, which is quite funny. But other than that, he's basically just, you know, replacing someone else's vulnerary action with him healing someone, and then they can do something else, which is super nice. Or they can attack first, and then he can heal them if they get hit. And if they don't get hit, he can heal someone else. It's really nice. Uh, B rank or C rank stabs at base is really high. It gets him very close to higher. Super high utility staff later on, but even mid game, just being able to use something like restore is nice. But you know, early game it's mostly going to be heal and then some mend and maybe some torch. But all these are tools that Molder has that are going to be really helpful to have around. He doesn't compete for combat XP like Erica does and Franz does and Gilliam does, I guess, and uh, Vanessa and everyone else we're going to talk about probably. So that's nice. He's basically a free opportunity cost. And there's going to be another healer later, but the advantage of having this little route split is I can send Molder to one route and the other healer to another, and they won't have to compete with each other without me um, having to like diminish each other's XP. Because usually there's not more than one person to heal per turn. Sometimes there is, but often there is not. So that's really nice. So I enjoy using, using Molder, but he's not particularly exciting until he promotes and he starts being able to use Slayer to kill monsters if he goes Bishop. Um, could go Sage as well, but I think Bishop is generally just better. And yeah, Molder's really nice, but it's not too much to say about him, I think. But you might have something. Yeah, no, it, it's good you bring up the Bishop promotion. That's kind of like a really huge part of his identity and really of anybody's identity who's able to go Bishop in this game because that class is just so ridiculously good. Like Slayer, all of your weapons have effective damage against basically everybody for like, what, a quarter or a third of the game or so. Like, okay, yeah, there's a couple chapters where you're still fighting Grotto, but who cares, dude? Like, just look, just overlook that for the moment. <laughs> and otherwise, he's fine, yeah. 
he has a staff ring, so I love deploying him. I know you're like, ah, can you get by with one staff user? And like, our play styles are very different in that respect. I think like when I choose mains for deployment, I deploy all the staffers first, and then I find the combat units, right? <laughs> like, we just really deploy a lot of them. I think he's a pretty fine staffer too. This one luck is a bit annoying. Like, that's maybe the only downside I can find of him is that enemies have a lot of crit on him basically all game long. Uh, but other than that, I mean, he's basically like the perfect staffer, right? Huge staff rank. Level 3, so he's pretty close to promotion 2 if you want to get him there. And, like, there's, the, there's there's a bunch of good staffs in FEA. There's not as many as, say, like, Thracia, right? But there's still a warp staff, there's still a rescue staff, there's still a physics staff, important things for him to cast. So, I really like him. I end up using him pretty much in all my playthroughs, I gotta say. Yeah, same. There's, there's no playthrough where I'm not using Molar at all, it feels like. Okay, and then last but not least for now, we uh, have Ross. We'll save Garcia for next episode, because he's not... Oh, you, you might join, but um, I'd like to split these uh, analysis a little bit more evenly than four and one, four now and two next episode. So, Ross is a trainee. Uh, FV8, I think, is the first game that, for at least for English audiences, that has proper trainees. So, he's basically tier zero, and he goes to either fighter or pirate in tier one, and then he can promote to berserker or warrior or hero in tier two, just like most other units can. So. Um, Ross starts out worse than most units, but the idea is that the extra levels and the extra promotion gains he gets uh, compensate for that. Plus, it's just fun to raise units, because when Ross chips an enemy, he gets like 30 XP, and if he kills, he gets like double that. So, it's very rewarding. Unfortunately, they did kind of compensate for Ross, and maybe overcompensated, because his bases and, like, growths are quite a bit worse to the point where I feel like the extra promotion he gets is offset entirely by his worst bases, and then his growth are just worse than someone like Garcia. I feel like whenever I use both Ross and Garcia, the Ross ends up being a little bit better when he goes to Pirates or Fighter, I suppose, at first, and then over the course of the game, his growth kind of flatline almost, and he ends up a little bit worse. But at least his luck is really good, and his strength is pretty outstanding overall, regardless of his deficiencies, as long as he's been trained. And long term, I think he's fine. You just have to commit very hard. He's very... XP hungry. The earlier he promotes and gets out of journeyman with its four movement, the better. Uh, he does have the hatchet, and this training seal is a thing from this patch I'll get into in a minute, just in case you're wondering. Um, hatchet is a very nice axe. He's not the only one who can use it, but it is very nice for him because it makes him very accurate. You can imagine that if Ross uses something like an iron axe uh, against the one range enemy he misses, he might die or end up seriously injured. So having this one two range accurate option to kill enemies that you've weakened for him is super nice. And, you know, when he's, when he's done training, you can always trade this around or let him keep using it, because it's honestly a really nice thing to have. But I like to trade it around a little bit and give it to someone like Garcia or Dazzle later. Uh, but it helps a lot with his training, because you don't want to try and hit with a hand axe when he has, like, two base skill to work with and not a great growth eater. So I'll probably try to train Ross a little bit. I don't know how much more XP uh, training I can do, but ideally, if I'm going to promote him, I would like to have him promoted by, like, chapter um, 7 or 8 is usually what I try to do. But it does take like quite a bit of chipping and killing, so I don't know how hard it will be. Uh, the trainee seal, I think, because he because of the way this patch works, you can't promote him normally. Normally, what happens if when you get Ross to level ten, the next chapter will prompt him to promote into his tier one class. But for some reason, Yune the program I used to make this messes that up, and so it gives him trainee seal and instead you just promote him manually level ten. It changes nothing in practice. I just do it in preparations instead of uh, at a story prompt. That's really all there is to it. So if you're wondering about the trainee seal. Um, that's what it is. Uh, any additional thoughts on Ross reasons? Yeah, I, I'm curious about the trainee seal. Does it really break the promotions? Because I've played a couple like Yune ROMs before and found this trainee seal. And like the before chapter promotion works fine in those ROMs, but maybe there was some setting you hit that uh, my friends using Yune don't hit. I've, I've never actually opened Yune. I've just been given ROMs by friends, right? So I'm pretty sure it still works, but I guess like hold on to it anyway. We're kind of curious to see. We'll find Anyways, it. I don't think of... I can sell it either way. <laughs> yeah, I, I usually just discard it. Yeah, you can actually sell it for 10k. Oh wow! Um, I'm not gonna. Yeah, do well, because we, <laughs> no, yeah, we say we're not gonna do that. We have to like discard it if anything, right? But anyway, speaking about Ross's training, because you kind of brought that up. You said your deadline for getting him into tier one, like out of journeyman, is like what usually like, seven or eight. Yeah, or... that's what I try if I if I'm seems... using him. Seems like pretty remarkably late. I'm usually able to, I'm like, okay, this is not an LTC pace or anything whatsoever, but I'm usually able to get him to 10 in like chapter 3. Because chapter 3 has so many like walls and range attacks and choke points that you can really just go at your own pace and attack only the enemies you want to fight. And like he can easily get to level 10 in that map alone. That does mean that he's the only one gaining EXP in that map. 
but you know if you intend to use Ross as you've kind of like assumed then like I don't really see how that's a tragedy well, right so if I'm like LTCing like when I was LTCing this game I found it was really tight to get Ross to mm -hmm. promote at that point while also having all the XP required for Franz and Arthur and Vanessa and all that stuff but fair yeah, enough if you're true. playing slow you can do it in any way I just think it'll be easier to give say three levels to Ross in chapter three and then three levels in the next chapter, three levels in the next, while also training all the other units we want to get. Because if I devote an entire chapter to Ross, uh, it will probably be a lot slower to watch. And it will also be like, yeah, now I still have to train all these other units in all the other chapters. So did I really make it easier on myself? We'll, we'll see what's what's easier, though. We'll, we'll see. Maybe the, the way the enemies scale up will make that different, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I, like I, I get the idea. And then kind of speaking to like the trained Ross, I do think that pretty much no matter where you go, He's gonna have issues with speed, and so I know that like one of the more popular promotion pads for him, I think, is like Hero. Mm -hmm. Is that like? Let me see this. Hero gets a total hero of two and, speed uh, and two yeah, Hero and Berserk have the same speed. It's Warrior that falls behind. Oh yeah, true. If you're yeah, if you're looking at the con too, then absolutely. Does it not? Hold on. I, I'll, I'll figure it out one day. Yeah, I think um, I I, fig I had to look into this for the waifu video. I forgot how the tier one promotions look, but I think they give like the same speed. But I know that Warrior is generally slower for Garcia uh, compared to Hero, and I know the Berserker has the same speed as Hero for Ross, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I'm looking at it and trying to make a case for Hero or Ross, but honestly, Berserker just looks way better. Berserker, I guess like you it... would go Hero if <laughs> the Ocean Seal is problematic. Those Berserkers is fun. I like Water Walking. Yeah, Water Walking yeah. plus 15 crit. He's got this like huge burly sprite. It's so fun. Mm -hmm. like... Definitely. Plus, uh, you know... The Ocean Seal might be less contested than the Hero Crest, but we'll see about that when we get there, because that's like long ways away. It, um, that's going to depend to like who goes where, too. That's going to be interesting with the promotion items, actually. We'll have to look into that when we get there. Oh, but yeah. We might be able to make like an entire extra video just based on the promotions alone, but uh, for now, I say we uh, finish the tutorial here. <laughs> yeah. So, or tutorial, or whatever it is. is. Uh, I think we have Seth um, go in front of the armory to cover Franz. And then Franz gets an iron sword, or Franz chips himself, and then we can milk that guy for XP while Seth goes past this brigands. Mm -hmm. I bit. kind of like the idea of just using the burdened Marcus straight away, though, right? I mean, I guess or not burdened Marcus, well, burdened Seth straight away. Like, I mean, it, we can just get him into position. I don't really know. Does does getting him like way further advanced actually help us out in any way, or not really? But uh, the way I see it is, if we have Franz chip this guy, then we can have Franz chip him again, and then we have Ross kill him or something. It's just it just milks more XP basically. It's that's like pretty, a, it's yeah, like it's like fair. a Zoran tier optimization, but yeah. The Iron Sword here. I don't think anyone else needs anything right now, but I guess I'm probably gonna buy one eventually. Actually, I'll get an Iron Axe in case Ross needs one later. Why not? There you go. I mean, like, Iron Axe right now is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we get one from that village in Chapter 4, but until then, boy, oh boy, <laughs> we're going to be... Yeah, I'm going to visit that shop for, an, uh, what's it called, anyway? Okay, I'm not going to heal Ross, because Mulder needs some healing speed. And you brought up getting Garcia out of here. It'll make things more interesting, that's for sure. Usually Garcia handles these guys just fine, but if you want to milk XP to the max, we might as well do this. So, let's go. We'll bring him over here. Uh, this does mean Ross might have to recruit him next turn instead of getting a kill. That might be slightly silly. Yeah, I'm usually a fan of uh, the just whatever setup lets me recruit both Ross and Garcia on turn two with some take drops, right? But I think here, because we didn't have the Iron Sword on Franz, I'd definitely agree with your move to just go ahead and buy that from the armory. Mm -hmm. You know, get that done. What do you think Ross does to this guy? Five or nine. Pretty so good. we could go for like the super risky attack. Or Air Combat Iron Sword might just weaken this guy for Ross. Yeah, there we go. That works. There we go. Perfect. perfect. Or we can get this with Franz and then we get Garcia this turn. Uh, yeah, I'll get it with Franz. I'll get it with Franz. From here, dodge is good. Nice, nice. Guy looking we beefy. could also like just drop Garcia north. Nah, no, Garcia could like steal a kill if we do that. Yeah, I don't want that. That wouldn't be very good. Let's just take this kill for now. Yeah, but like a kill with Franz is never tragic, right? So let's nah, go ahead and do this. Unless it gives him a bad level up. Okay, so he's gonna get another one soon. Uh, is, can this brigands? Oh, we got this Vaughn too. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Uh, this Brigands, uh, unfortunately, we can't do the thing where we hit him with Seth and he suicides on one of these two, but that's okay. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to let him come to us then, because uh, if we hit him now, he's gonna suicide on Seth, right? Unless we... Hold up, I have an idea. How much speed do you have, friend? Seven? Oh, shit. Ross gets doubled. Ah, oh, come on. We that's could so feed, bad. We could feed it to Nessa, but then we have to drop Garcia. Well, like, I mean, dropping Garcia was part of the plan anyway, right? So... Well, if we drop Garcia... 
then this brigand's gonna hit. Um, our brigand's gonna die. Is the idea right? We hit this guy, and then Ross counters and kills. But if Ross misses, he dies. I feel well, like this is no. Defense. So like, what I'm saying is like we drop Garcia south of Ross, and we like Canto south of Erica, and then we have Seth attack, and then that way you know Garcia is up there in the safe zone, as it were, and Vanessa is down here like. Because we can drop and then Canto, right? Yeah. Wait, we did, we did this. Why not we just recruit Garcia with Ross? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, okay, we just do that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm, we, we had the same idea. It's yeah. just, you know. <laughs> it took me a little longer to get to it, yeah. Like, okay, what's so going we, on? So we drop here and then we just canter south in range of the brigands and we hit with Seth and we hope that Vanessa can get the kill, I guess? I, it sounds good to Nine. me. Nine. Okay, she does like five damage, but she doubles. So I think she has a pretty good shot at getting there. Yeah, that sounds really good to me. Okay. And then crits. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I love how we like discuss strategy on the same length as like the super complicated late game maps later on. It's like, hmm, how do I kill level one brigand? <laughs> how do I kill brigand? Hmm. Uh, so we can't reach here. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Uh, still lance equip. Go here. Don't give him any terrain. This seems to be good. I love how you can supply um, after cantering. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> supply after convoy. Grab Garcia. I'm still gonna. We're still gonna analyze him next time. I guess Garcia could like fight in a forest for no reason. I mean, like, I guess so. Yeah. He like gets a hit on a guy in a peak. He gets axe right. What's he gonna here. do? Like double hit a hand axe? That'd be funny. Uh, Twenty hit. Yeah, it's probably not happening. But I'll have yeah. to go. Zero point six four to double hit the hand. Okay, it's never happening now. It was worth a shot, yeah, right? It was worth a shot. How much speed do you guys have? Probably like six or seven. Garcia has no way he's getting doubled. Yeah, they, okay. Turns out he just gets one round and we didn't even check the stats. Yeah, yeah, probably. There are enemies that like double Garcia, but I don't think they appear quite yet. No. All right. It's like on. way later from now. Okay. All right. Axe rank obtained. <laughs> Perfection. Perfection. Just showing off this unit, right? Whoop. All right. So. There are like three different spots that I want Seth on right now. And all of them are around here. I think this is when we get the pure water before it gets really busy, for sure, with Vanessa. Yeah, I mean, she's out of commission for like the next two turns. She's doing this now and then like trying to heal on the next turn. But mm. oh, I mean, um... that's like kind of fine. We just use more Erica and Franz. Like, what's what's the tragedy here? Yeah, not really one. It's just... Let me see if Franz survives two hits, because then he could be here if we wanted him to be. Uh, 17, both. Uh, he lives because, you know, sort of weapon triangle means there are 16 actually. Yeah, he can take both hits, but we do have to make sure that the archer can't attack him. So what we can do is, um, we can hit this guy with Seth to put him at 1 HP. Ooh, look at that, 1 HP, beautiful. And then he weakens this brigand as well, assuming they don't have, like, healing AI. And then this part we can probably do with Erica. She just dodges them for days on this forest. And then we yeah, that sounds good to me. Bronze at the bottom. Okay. And then next turn we'll finish off everything that's been weakened, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's have a go. Yeah, here. maybe the Franz thing will be a bit tricky, but nah, who knows? Yeah, Franz will be very low on HP, which might not be great. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as Erica dodges, though, I don't think we have super high demand for healers, though. I uh, actually wonder if it's better to like heal Vanessa and then have her stab this archer. Oh, like I understand, I understand that this kind of delays the pure water, but I'm thinking this for two reasons, right? For one, like it's a pure water, who cares? Like we can buy those soon anyway, can't we? No, no actually, it takes a while before you can get valuable. pure waters in this game. But also, yeah. if we do that, then we shouldn't have sense it. Well, we it'd be weird because she fights this. Oh, actually, this guy's weakened. Hold up. Wait, hold on a minute. Yeah. Yeah, it's because Garcia fought him. Uh, does well, she do have at least nine attack? Nine. Oh, wait, she just one rounds him. Yeah, from here she does. Okay, well. That's kind of neat. So we could do that. And then we some just... Some additional evidence to the case. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we can do that. And then we just hold off on these guys. Or rather, yeah, we can just hold off on the pure water, I suppose. Or France can get it or something. Or we don't mm -hmm. get it. Okay, let's heal Vanessa. I'm, I'm down, I'm down. Vanessa kills. It should, this is such clean EXP. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm quite satisfied with it. Yeah, there's a chance I'm she, wondering... she won't like hit the brigands twice, but uh, that's okay. I mean, there's a chance with that, like with basically every enemy in this map, right? Oh, but this time the brigands yeah. on flat ground, so... Yes. Oh, good, 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 yeah. good, good call. <laughs> you gotta check, yeah. you gotta check. Turns out she just gives one shot with this brigand, but didn't even check that. Uh, no, no, no. Just, I told I told everyone she has good enough durability to survive an archer, right? So I can't be wrong on that. It's no yeah, way. Yeah, six defense. Okay. That's quite a lot, actually. Uh, does it matter where we put Franz? Not really, right? Between these two squares. Yeah, if we've kind of, I guess, like maybe the far bottom left actually could 
pure water. That gets him like closer to the pure water village. Actually, does it? That might get him cut Six. off from the pure water village, if anything. Well, if he goes here, he can't reach next turn. One, two, three, well, four. Well, but if he goes there, turn. he also can't reach next turn. No, if he gets because here, because the enemies are going to surround him. Oh, they might. I think they're going to be stupid and not do it honestly. Hmm. Are you willing to take that chance? Because like, if he gets surrounded, then not only are you, can you not get to the village, but also they can get to the village. Well, I'm going to have someone in their range anyway. They're not going to go for the village. Yeah, you got you got a point. I like that move, yeah. I'm going here. We might keep Garcia's uh, player phase actions to uh, do some work here. So I'll just heal him right now. I'm sure we'll have someone to heal next turn. Yeah, then, then this is the Erica show for a bit, right? Yeah, I might bait this guy off the peaks for now. We could do this, right? Because that leaves Eric on a forest, but also gives her a player phase attack. Mm -hmm. We're going to do this, and then there's a higher chance that Ross can get the kill next turn. In fact, if we rape here, she goes down to she go down to 6 HP. And right now, Ross is doing 4, but they're on a peak, so that would be 6. Oh, so. that's true. Do they double Ross? Like, if he fails to kill, does he get doubled, or what? Uh, Ross gets doubled by yeah, this guy, so. but not this guy. So... Hmm. Take an awful risk there, but I mean, like... We could also just go onto the other forest with the rapier equipped, and then she, like, it's kind of similar to how Seth was weakening everybody for Vanessa. Yeah. Erica would be weakening these guys for Russ. Exactly. Uh, he'll only get He's one kill at most, probably. No, actually, no, we can probably get both somehow. All right, let's see if this mm -hmm. works out. I'll just uh, park him as close as he can be. This is as close as he can be. Wait. There you go. Oh, whoops. Uh... Oh, Mulder's fine anyway. We'll just... Yeah, this is actually a bad move. I should have kept Erica blocking here. That's the whole reason she was here. Not Mulder's oh, yeah. Range. Hmm. Oh, well. Shoot yeah, we should have seen that. Definitely should have seen that. Oh, well. It's like, we'll figure we'll figure it out, right? Yes. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. Okay, so Franz doing some chip here. Then he probably... Oh, the guy is going to go below. Okay, that's fine, though. Just missed Not them all. Bone. <laughs> he has crit. <laughs> See that? Yeah. <laughs> One crit. We dodged both, so One we can just stay here for a turn and do the same thing over and over again. All right, defense, strength, speed, anything. <laughs> No. Dude, come don't, on! Don't make me use different calves. Okay, Vanessa will hit twice though, right? Right? Every yeah, time. come on, she's got to hit twice. Every time. Yeah, got him. Every time. She's looking way better than Franz already, just saying. I'm, hold on a minute. <laughs> she's a base wait, level. Wait. <laughs> the level, the level. Feet. Yes. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. It's alright. I'll take it. Okay, so Mulder's gonna get weakened now. Or not. Wait, Mulder's they gonna... don't have crit on Mulder? Yeah, uh, um, this guy like what? One, two skill, one skill. Okay, this guy got, got like beat. this is Ross's skill probably. Oh yeah, easy, easy, easy Ross kill. Okay, now let's make sure we don't route the map as we get the pure water. Um, oh yeah, right. That's like actually kind of an issue here, huh? Yeah, just move him one back. I guess he's having Vanessa mm -hmm. be in position to do it is probably fine. Yeah, I think if we just, like, rotate Vanessa off to the far west, that's, like, the easiest way to do it. Yeah. So. Maybe we have Seth weaken this one for Vanessa, and then she gets the kill after Molar heals from, like, I don't know, here somewhere. Yeah, this Franz seems like a pretty good square. start. Uh, Franz blocks here to make sure that Vanessa can safely... The Molar can heal Vanessa, and then Molar, Seth, and Vanessa gang up on this guy. Ross kills this guy. No one dies. Everyone is happy, I think. Yeah, that seems like a really good way to go about it. Let's try that way about it. So go here. And like, Bone and the other guy are kind of maybe complicated on the ground a bit, but yeah, no, no, come on, look at that. You just block them all off very yeah, easy. I think we do this, and then, yeah, Mulder can go there. That's fine. So you can go anywhere you want. And heal. And also, very importantly, the other brigands like still have Franz in their attack range, so they won't go for the village. Mm-hmm. True. It's been like the most Vanessa kills I've ever seen on this map, I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen like, very often, does it? Uh... Yeah, we're already at four. <laughs> like, Not bad. Okay, so you gotta hit this guy. I'm gonna go far away so the other brigand can't reach me if something goes wrong. Go here, take that kill. That makes sense. Six, Look at that, 61. 61 on a kill? Holy moly. Okay, go here and hit one out of two. Thank you. And, she and if she missed turn. both of them, then we had Erica there anyway, right? Yes, so. exactly. God, there's so much Vanessa EXP. Really good. Very juicy. Um, we don't, like, attack with a hand axe here from... Or do we, like, tank from this forest? Who knows? 
Uh, like, let's see, they can't. Their only option is to attack France from the left and the right and the bottom. So I think that's kind of perfect for us. Like, just put Garcia out of range. Because mm -hmm. I would like them to hit France. Or, I mean, not necessarily hit, but they can, they can attack France for all I care. Yeah. I, I saw, like, a tile where maybe Erica could go to enemy phase them, but then she could, like, get a crit and then kill two, fight two guys and die, right? That seems, like, not very wise. Yeah, there's no reason to do it. France is a fine HP target. Okay. Go here. Was he dead to the combined hit, actually? No, no, no. He uh, takes 10 from each. I checked the first oh, time right, I, right. I sent him here. Yeah, remember I saw he, he did 10, he, and I'm like, the boss must do more. Yeah, he, he uh, never got... Remember, he uh, he never got hit. He just got an HP level up. Like, this is the HP I sent him in at. Okay. Yeah, that's true. And now they're free for the pickings for anyone not Ross or Vanessa. Okay. What's all the ruckus? Get all this pure water ruckus. And Erica and Franz. Yeah, I guess that's good for me. Erica Franz kill. There yeah. you go. Look at that. Perfectly okay, So, what's this? Like six turns? Damn. LTC pace. Maximum XP efficiency. Easy getting out of here. Nerd emoji. EXP on Erica. Watch this level. What level? Oh, never mind. Okay. We'll I get, we'll get Franz on another level. I hope. Oh, true. Sure, because this is the boss kill, is it not? This is the boss kill. That's correct. Although the boss is like virtually indistinguishable from normal Brigant as we saw by his damage on Franz. Yeah, no, true. I mean, it's like, they still give more EXP. Like, I think bosses, there, there's like some flag that bosses give more EXP. Yeah, it's the little thing at the bottom here, the bottom right on this yeah. right. All right, get him. Bonk. Bonk. Blast. Bone just got 1v1'd. Yeah, getting Garcia was a good idea. Let's go. I like oh, it. Oh, come on. So close, so close. Oh, well. Holy, that was a pretty clean clear, I gotta say. Yeah, I think Seth got zero kills there. <laughs> go us. No kills for Seth. All good. And uh, next up is chapter three. It's gonna be some walling. It's probably gonna be some more Ross killing. Probably some more Vanessa killing. Gonna be some Colm, some Naomi, and some Garcia discussion if you're down to tune in for that. But we'll have to save that for next time. So we'll see you then. Bye. Yep, see you then.